wanna be a player You telling me you love me, I feel like that you be playing And I ain't got no time for no nigga, I'm just saying You feel like you the man, why I feel like you a fan, man You know who I am, and you know what it is I ain't that Hey guys, it's me back with another video Today we're going to be doing a whole bunch I'm gonna be speaking, it's gonna be a sit down and talk video and we're gonna be talking about how to start this business because that's what I said I was gonna make videos on. I can make videos on a bunch of other things as well, but as I'm coming up with this business situation, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna talk about this coming up with a business idea. So today I have my hair in braids, little braids up here and then two in the back um starting of well for me i just have my stuff right here so i'm gonna okay i'm gonna need to separate this into smaller little videos but to begin here's like you know i'm just gonna talk about what you're gonna need for the most important part so you're sitting down you're trying to think of like what am i about to do what is like i want to make side money but what am i about to sell like what is my business going to be revolving around and for me um i had my very good friend inspire me um she was been telling me to sell lashes and i was like at the time i was getting lash extensions which i don't have any eyelashes on today i was very like bare i was just like you know what? we're gonna film this video but um she was like why do you not sell lashes because i just i was constantly paying like a hundred plus dollars to get my eyelashes done extensions she's like why are you doing that when you could make your own money and i'm like i was at the time i was in texas and i'm just like um i don't really I'm like nah like i kind of just brushed it off like, nah like mm -mm. and then so this was back in December of 2018. Then the new year came, 2019. I didn't start thinking about this until April, maybe end of April, May. Yeah, May was when I was like, oh yeah, like it's going down. Like I'm doing this, and I knew I wanted to do a boutique instead of just lashes because a lot of people do lashes. You know, they sell their own lashes. So I wanted to not only sell just lashes but a couple other things. And um, that's why I said Star Ella Boutique because my name is Starla. Um, and then I got a book. It's a very simple book. Bloom Where You Are Planted. I got this book when my whole journey started. So I've only, but when I look in the book, I literally see the day that I was coming up to think of a name for what I wanted my business to be called. Like, so this started yeah see may may 18th was when i first started writing um you have to think of there's a lot there's a lot to go into making a business but it's like easy like when you speak about it oh my god that sounds like so much but when you're doing it yes it takes time but it's easy like it is easy to start your own business it is easy to have people support you it's not easy to have people buy your items. Like I said, unless they support you, that's gonna be the hard part, you know. Me selling lashes right now, I'm still only just selling lashes. I haven't started selling the um, other things yet. Um, it's There's days that it's good, there's days that it's bad. There's days I get a lot of orders, there's days I don't get any orders. And that's just, what i learned i i knew that going into it so that's why i was like okay um so you have to start out with what do you want to name your business um like i said i was just putting a whole bunch of names together um i knew that i wanted my name to be somewhere incorporated in it i'm like how am i gonna have to come up with this i'm like my name's starla i'm not gonna name it starla's lashes like that's so basic um and then I don't I need to find a page of when I oh see this is how I came up with it so then I start writing myself questions I'm like 
how are you going to ship out your lashes? Then I realized that um, because I have I have a lot of my friends that are, you know, have their own little business going on. I support them very much. I always do my best to uplift their spirits. That's what the positive energy that I like around me. That's the positive energy I want to be given back to me. Um, and they don't just sell lashes. They sell other things. They do hair. They sell purses. And it's like a lot of, I love it. So when my friend told me she was, um, went to the post office to go ship off her product and they told her that the shipping was $10. I was like, that is insane. I'm not charging people $10. I'd rather charge people $5 and that's exactly what I did. But I ship out my own products by myself. I bought my own printer and um, I purchased my own printer. What you need to do is you need to purchase, you need to purchase an inkjet printer. An inkjet printer is different from a regular uh, printing paper printer like it prints out for special uh paper types so like if you're printing out a picture or you can even use that to do graphics on your shirt or whatever so i had to get the inkjet printer um that i was looking on best buy i was kind of stalking it for like a week trying to decide on the best printer there was this girl i was watching on youtube i was like at the point where i wanted the exact same printer she had but then i was like um i was reading the reviews and then it was like a battle like it was between two printers and then one one night I, in the middle of me stalking it i refreshed the page it went from like a hundred and thirty dollars to eighty dollars it was on sale it went down to like eighty dollars i was like oh my god like i have to get this now 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 like i cannot miss this i have to get it now because it's on sale for eighty dollars it's gonna go back to 130 dollars i'm not gonna get this opportunity again so that's exactly what i did i bought it that same night i picked it up the next morning <laughs> and i have my printer um as for you will also so you need the printer you need the printer paper which is i just type honestly i go in on google and i type in shipping labels uh inkjet printer paper and i get mine from amazon it comes in a pack um I will link all of this down below. I'll link my um, papers. You need bubble mailers. Oops. So I got this a couple of days ago. So I'm doing my free trial with stamps.com. This is like a starter kit they sent me or whatever. Um, I also just received my scale. I have not. I used it but it's still wrapped in here it's just the scale you need a scale when you're shipping out your packages they need to know how much it weighs um i also invested in a whiteboard i think that would be really good my whiteboard is sitting on top of my bed right there um i just write down my goals my to-do list the date i change the date every day i write down my schedule of the week of what i'm doing i write down what i need to do when i want to do the difference between need and wanting so i write down the difference between those i put important things and these are just magnets i picked up that i haven't opened yet because the board came with two so i didn't see a reason and um here's i was learning how to use my printer so here is like you know there was i needed help on because i didn't know how to insert the paper I was struggling so much with that so I needed help with that so here are my poly mailers when I say poly mailers this is what poly mailers look like this in this silver part you rip off and you close it to seal it here's the front my shipping label packages are purple poly mailers have there's two different ones there's the ones with the bubbles and then there's the ones without the bubbles that are just like I don't know like let's say you just want to close in there and you just like I don't know how to explain it there's two different types so i got this one purple because all my packaging i have purple you know so i was like why not just match it up so basically you're i will go into more detail when i make my series video this is my introduction video on just how to start a business in general but i will be making separate in detail videos on how to do the website picking out what would um well picking out is just based on your preference like what kind of poly mailers you want or if you will even want to sell poly mailers you could just use the post office delivery things um you need to and then another thing is vendors vendors is a big thing but that's literally a separate video that i have to do by itself 
um for that you need to after you pick out i got my i knew i had my printer what else did i get on my list i then be that's when i began my vendor looking um like i said that'll be a separate video but to briefly go over it i just it's very easy you just either use instagram or you use alibaba ali i don't know how to pronounce that but I, that's the two web, that's the two things i use instagram and alibaba that's what i was picking from and then i made my decision from there and so far i've been very happy with what i picked but um i'll go into detail about that in my next video um there's trial and error luckily when i the first person i picked i automatically liked their lashes and i've just been using with them but i've heard like people went through five different lash people before they found the right one or then you have to think about is this a scam am i really gonna get these lashes for good quality am i getting what i see and it's just it's literally trial and error like you have to just find out i don't know um okay so here it is yeah my printer oh my printer was actually 70 dollars uh my sample for my lashes i had the price right here and then for my poly mailers plus my uh printer paper it was 27 dollars. i write all of this down um i told myself i needed to get the scale that came with um stamps um then i just write down other things that i would like to sell then comes so with me for my business i do lashes for the time being so i needed to come up with lash names um, when I had received my samples, I only received like, I picked five lashes, so I received five samples, but I ended up selling four, so I needed to come up with four lash names, and I was just jotting things down that I thought was different and cute, um, and I decided on my four, then you come up with your website, so now you have your samples, you have your printer, and now you need to choose a website. I know there's shopify i use wix.com i know there's big cartel but i use wix.com so i can only tell you about wix.com i haven't had no issues with wix.com so i'm gonna continue using wix.com but i've heard very good things about um big cartel and shopify very great things so um i i am in the process of not in the process yet but i'm oh my god I keep feeling like there's an eyelash in my eye. <laughs> so I'm not in the process yet because I ha I'm not going to say process. It's in my mind to get business cards, but it's just sitting there in the back of my mind. I haven't like actually taken action to buy them and print them out or whatever. So it, that's why I don't, I don't want to say I'm in the process of. Um, so I want to do a business card. You need to then come up with your business page for whatever social media that you're using. So I am very active on Instagram. I made a separate business page for my Starla Boutique um, and I put it under business page so I can see the insight and activities and see how many people are interacting with my page. It is very good to make a business page, especially even if your platform is not big, like let's say you have only a thousand followers on Instagram, you still should make a business page no matter if you had 500 followers like because the, and then make the business page public so that everyone can visit use hashtags use a bunch of things like I um so right now I don't have that many followers on um, my business page I think I have like 150 followers um you do not well I don't want to say you have to follow every person that follows you on your business page um, but you know like don't not follow anyone follow some people back um so you make the instagram business page you start out with that you on your main page you shout out that business page and like oh hey whenever you're ready to you feel like you're ready to launch or t start telling people about it that's what i did i slowly started to tell people um instagram has this thing called close friends so i started with my close friends first i was like hey guys just let you know i will be launching a boutique i've come up with this idea blah blah blah, blah. and i was only posting it on my close friends and i started building followers from my close friends first then one day i was like i just posted on my public page but i still had nothing posted on my actual business page um i was just letting them know like hey i plan on opening my own boutique blase blase here's the page and people started following it and i kept posting i didn't just post it the one time i kept 
re not reposting it but i kept sorry my camera cut off um so yeah i just posted and posted on my main page and finally when i was very satisfied and i was ready i knew i was ready i finally posted on the actual business page like guys i'm excited like i just wrote like a little paragraph and everyone was like reposting it like my supporters were reposting it and then their supporters i guess were reposting it It was just like i looked at my analytics and i got like over 200 views in that one day of my first launch um i had the website I had the website up and running, ready to go, so people could order that same day. I was ready, everything was in order, it was set to go. Um, with Wix and ShipStation, it's, um, you pay every month. Um, I'm still doing my free trial, so I haven't come up on that, but I think it's $36 every month for Wix. There's different memberships, but again, I'll get into detail about that in the other video um in ship station thirty dollars every month i guess um and then there's also thirty dollars every month but there's also different memberships for that one um customizing your box okay so let's start talking about my box i don't know why i did that let's start talking about this this is an empty one because i have an empty one um honestly this is definitely a whole nother video because you have to have fun with making your box there's different kind of boxes there's the diamond shape the rectangle one the square one there's i've seen they came out with a hexagon or something but you need to have fun with your product you do not just pick one and then you sell it and you don't even like what you're selling so i was sitting there for days i was legitimately asking so many people for help and you know there's a lot of different people's opinions involved in this but at the end of the day at the end of the day i made the decision of what was going on my um <clears throat> product so oh sh so it looks like this but it just looks like this so the bag looks like this. The inside is this rose gold. I don't know how to like to feel it. It actually feels like glitter. And then the front just looks like this. And then this goes inside of it. That's where the lashes sit. I had extra, so that's why in the beginning you seen that I had pulled this out. So here's my extras. So when I get more, I can just put them myself. Um, so yeah, I have extras. Oh, I forgot about this book. This book is a regular notebook. It's a memo pad, actually. And I use this to... Um, so that's what I use this for. I just write them down just to keep memory. I don't know that's just me um and yeah I, I can't remember i feel like i've just been talking so much i can't even remember what i've covered and what i need to cover so website picking vendors um and when you're looking for a vendor you try not to pick vendors that have low scores so like i don't i'm talking about like on alibaba.com if they don't have like a gem you need to look at their transactions how many transactions they've had you need to um what was the other one transaction and see if they have like a lot of reviews um that's important if they have one transaction i would be kind of skeptical but then again i don't know i don't know um so here are my four lashes Here's Vega. Here's Egypt. Vega is a 25 millimeter. It's long. Egypt is regular length, but it's like Vega, but just regular length and um, a little more spaced out. Here's 
Vega again. What the hell? I meant to grab all different ones. Oh, I'm missing Brat. Oh, damn it. Brat is very spaced out. Here's Agora. It's my most natural one. It's not that dramatic. And then Brat is just like, it's so pretty. It's spaced style and just pretty. I love it. Um, but Brat is also 25 millimeter. Um, what else? You need to know where you're going to be storaging everything. You need to have an organization. You don't want to be unorganized. Me, myself, I can't speak too much because I'm not that organized yet, but it's coming together. I kind of am organized for the time being until I get all... I'm setting up like a makeup slash YouTube slash business little thingy thing, but it's coming together. So far I have my mirror, so far I have my mirror lights, I just need my desk, and then I will be good to go. So it's coming together. Um, you need something organized to put your stuff in. You do not want to just be throwing things everywhere and be unorganized. You don't want to send a customer the wrong product just because you were not organized. So it is very good to be organized like I said I write everything down I don't I another thing um I so with the book every time I get paid I write down how much I get paid and I write down how much is everything that I'm going to need to so <sighs> sorry sometimes I talk too fast for my own thinking um <laughs> so let's say I get paid a certain amount of money I know Wix is 33 so I'm gonna write what I got paid the number I got paid the number of the wicks, the number of substation, I'm going to subtract through the total. Now this is what I have left. I need to put this much away. And, <clears throat> um, but I still also need to do this, this, this for my business. I need to do this, this, this for my living, like gas and buying food. Um, that's kind of what I do in my book. I do a lot of calculations. It's a whole bunch of calculations in my book. I love doing that. Um, I am currently doing major saving right now because for my birthday, which is a month away, September 8th, go in the building, my Virgo gals, we're here, it is, uh, our time has risen upon us, we are here, we're gonna turn 20, I'm so excited, oh my god, I can't wait to vlog that, um, I'm turning 20, um, where, where was I going with this? Oh, <laughs> major savings, because I want to get a car for my birthday. Um, hopefully that happens. I'm going to speak it into existence. So not hopefully, we're going to speak it into existence. Um, yeah, I want to get a car. I don't know if I want a brand new car or if I just want a used car. We'll decide when the time comes. Um, and I think that's it for my starting a business, which you need so far. Um, you're gonna need the website. You're gonna need to be choosing trial and error with vendors. You're gonna need some sort of technology, whether it's an iPad, a laptop, a desktop. You're going to need um, packaging. You're going to need to figure out what you wanna sell, what you want your business to be called. You're going to need um, supporters. Honestly, honestly, supporters, like, it's, like, great if you have them, but, like, I'm still gonna do this without you if you don't have them type of thing. So, I don't know. I don't know. Um, so, yeah, supporters, um, you need to believe in yourself. You need to believe in yourself so much. You need to know that when I start this, it's going to take off. You need to know and believe in yourself it's not gonna work if you just do it and then next month you don't care no you need to have a passion for it that's what i'm saying you need to find what you want to sell and make sure that this is something you really like to do you want to sell you are proud of it that's why i said making these is like all you so yes you can ask for people's opinion but i had to learn that is mostly mine. Yes, you can ask like, oh, what color should this be? At the end of the day, if someone tells you yellow and you want green, you're gonna put green. So it's like, yeah, you can take other people's opinions at the end of the day, you're what's, you're putting your work into this. So, um, yeah, supporters, um, technology, and a book. You need a damn book. You need a book so you can write all of this down. 
I am not only doing this to be organized, but I want to look, I'm going to keep that book so I can look back and be like, yo, look at all that that I was writing, you know? Um, and I think so far that's it for my wanting to start a business, which you would need. I will be doing another video. I'm kind of in the mood to talk, so I'll probably just record another video right after this. Um, but yeah, that's what you will need to start a business to start getting ideas um yeah that's what you'll need so far so yeah comment other videos and ideas that you would like me to speak about i like i actually like this is my first like sit down talk i actually like doing it i like hearing myself talk sometimes um so yeah just comment down other video ideas that you guys would like to see um i will try to link everything I said I talk so much I don't even remember half the things I just mentioned but I will try to link everything down below that I was speaking about if you personally want to speak to me I will link my social medias down below you could hit a girl up I am not mean slide into the dms or comment under a picture whatever is more comfortable for you and I'll reply back like I'm not a mean person I love everyone um and yes see you in my next video which will be very soon. Bye!